you guys welcome back to black tea it's your girl ebony okay you guys so there are obviously two topics i want to discuss in this video the first topic being none other than miss chloe bailey revealing to allure magazine that she was actually too scared to be herself and to be sexy before she actually started performing on stage talk about interesting right now during her interview with allure chloe bailey not only talked about her self-image but she also did disclose that her debut album will be self-titled Chloe and I thought that some of the looks from the photo shoot were amazing she looked gorgeous but I did find her statement in regards to being sexy very interesting now this is what Chloe Bailey had to say maybe this is the side of me that I've always wanted to get out but I've been too scared the Chloe on stage I'm fearless. I feel sexy and I feel strong. I feel like nothing can hold me back. When I'm off stage, it's the complete opposite. That version on stage is still a really nice person, but she doesn't take any ish and she knows who she is. By sharing her experiences, Chloe is hoping to help others accept and embrace their emotional dichotomies. We're not all supposed to be perfect. Like a bad B word, confident all the time. We have layers, ebbs and flows to our lives. It would be completely unfair for me to portray myself to the world like I have no problems because I do. Now, I thought this was a great interview. I also understand a little bit more what Chloe is saying. In her real life, Chloe is not this over the top woman, but I do feel like that she gets her high self esteem and also her self love from performing because when she is on stage, she is that girl. And although she may not feel that way, I do think that she holds on to that performance girl so that she can continue continue pushing through the industry. So I thought this was a great interview. I am getting word that Chloe could be dropping her album around August of this year. So let's see what she has to bring. But all in all, much love to her. Now you guys, let's get into this Cardi B DJ situation, Nicki Minaj, and how people feel that this could be a PR stunt because allegedly people got something coming out called dangerous, allegedly. Check all these PR stunts and girl you ain't Porto Ricanya too much now you guys know yesterday I did do a video notifying you that a DJ did mistaken Nicki Minaj and Cardi B and they basically said Nicki Minaj is in the building however it was Cardi B now after everything hit the fan this is where we saw the DJ come out to apologize to Offset and Cardi B it actually looked very very weird and people started reacting and let's just say they feel this could be a stunt go ahead and check this out um i'm reading so many stories and narratives about things that happened and didn't happen and i just want to clear the air i prepared a little statement that i'm going to read and hopefully it does just that last night in the club a promoter manager passed me along information to shout out and unknowingly, I ran with it. I never meant any disrespect to Cardi B, Offset, their family, friends, or fans in any way, shape, or form. It was an honest mistake, and I feel horrible about it. Normally, that's something that I would never do. I always check and double check information, but I was caught up in what I thought was a hip hop moment. I accept my responsibility for what happened and send my heartfelt apologies to Cardi being offset. I meant no malice. It was definitely no setup. It was sim I was simply there to rock the party. Now, after this happened, this is where we saw people jump into the comments and people had their own emotions and own feelings about the situation. One Instagram user saying this, man, get all these PR stunts. He knew what he was doing. Streets are saying another DJ are saying he was paid off. Don't even know why he apologizing. I don't know, y'all. I believe him. Why would he hurt his career to be petty? Everybody don't live by the sword like the Barb's and the Cardi fans. 
It's giving another stunt by the white Latina girl. Do we always need an apology video? He got beat up. Blank if you are being held against your will. It's giving hostage message after getting beat up. But for real though, since Cardi's blogger friend verified she got him beat up, is at DJ Envy going to assemble the DJ Union Committee to ban her music? Chow, talk about a mess. Just imagine you guys, if the tables were actually flipped and they there was people seeing that Nicki Minaj was actually texting bloggers. Just imagine the type of backlash that she would get. At the end of the day, this DJ just seems extremely messy. I don't know why he left this apology video. It is actually making it seem like he was paid to do this. I don't know by who, but it does look a little bit weird. It's almost like, do we really not see what's going on? Why is it that every time there is a tea of new content or there is something coming out that a situation in regards to this woman and Nicki Minaj is brought up. It's almost like it's trying to be, you know, attached to Nicki Minaj's legacy. It's just really weird, but that's just my opinion. I want to hear from you guys down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys to the moon and back and we'll chop it up very soon. Bye guys.